Hey there, and welcome to another episode of UCLA Interaxon's Media Committee's Neuroscience for Kids. Have you ever heard of the saying, you are what you eat? Well, maybe that does hold some truth. The gut, where all the food you eat gets digested, the central nervous system, and the enteric nervous system are constantly communicating with one another. This system of communication is known as the gut-brain axis, or GBA, and it consists of the brain and spinal cord and the enteric nervous system, or ENS, which is a large portion of the peripheral nervous system that controls our digestive system. The ENS is described as the second brain of the gastrointestinal system, as it heavily regulates digestion, which is the process where food gets broken up into tiny little pieces. Because these two systems are linked, the GBA leads researchers to believe that one's mental health can affect our gut health, such as that one feeling of butterflies in your stomach. Likewise, poor gut health can also be an underlying factor for neurological and mental disorders, such as depression. But what connects these two systems? The vagus nerve connects the brain to the gut. Nerves are fiber-like wires that help connect different parts of your body together like a string. This specific nerve travels from the brain through the lungs, heart, spleen, liver, kidneys, and then down to the intestines. And fun fact, if severed, the intestines can still function without direction from the central nervous system, which includes the brain and the spinal cord. Cells called neuropod cells line the wall of the small intestine. These cells communicate with neurons located on the vagus nerve, called vagal neurons, and become active by molecules in the gut, such as nutrients or bacteria. Wait, you're probably wondering, why is there bacteria in my gut and how can I get rid of it? Isn't that dangerous? And the answer to that question is no, not in healthy amounts. Our gut is filled with all types of bacteria that are helpful for our bodies and are sometimes referred to as good bacteria. We need these bacteria in order to create what is referred to as the gut microbiome, which is essentially a large pool of healthy bacteria living in your gut. The gut microbiome helps you digest your food and creates a safe space for your gut to tackle any potential invaders that could cause you to have an upset stomach. Fun fact, research shows our gut microbiome is inherited from our mother. Because both the neuropod cells in the intestines and the vagal neurons from the vagus nerve are connected, they are able to communicate and exchange information about their specific part of the body. If, for example, you have a very unhealthy gut with more bad bacteria than good, researchers and scientists believe that those poor conditions can negatively impact an individual's mental state since the two systems are linked. Similarly, if your mental state is low, especially when you might feel sad, nervous, or anxious, impulses from the brain can be sent through the vagus nerve all the way to your gut causing you to experience butterflies in your stomach or that feeling when you approach a drop on a roller coaster. Based on these findings, now we have a better understanding of how important it is for you to take care of your diet and mental health since they both heavily rely on each other. Diet has the bonus effect of helping your mood as it can improve both the body and brain. So as you're nourishing your stomach with healthy fruits and vegetables, not only are you becoming healthier and stronger, but you're also helping strengthen your mind. Speaking of food, what things are really great for you to eat? Well, let's take a look. Things like glucose, vitamins, and minerals are great for keeping ourselves healthy. And even better, we get these nutrients from eating healthy foods like bread, vegetables, fruits, and more. Do you like blueberries, seeds, beans, and chocolate? Well here, we have a short list of some of the different types of foods claimed by nutritionists and health scientists that can help boost our brain and overall health. And yes, the food we just mentioned is all on there. Let's take a look at a few foods more closely. Blueberries, according to many scientists, may reduce the effects of age-related conditions, such as Alzheimer's disease or dementia. Studies have also shown that diets rich in blueberries have improved both the learning capacity and motor skills of aging rats, making them as mentally capable as younger rats. Let's talk about nuts and seeds. Nuts and seeds are good sources of vitamin E, which help nourish and support cognitive function. The fun part about nuts is that there are so many different kinds. Walnuts, hazelnuts, almonds, cashews, peanuts, sunflower seeds, and more. 
Just make sure that your diet includes unsalted nuts that are low in sodium, if at all. Too much sodium can lead to high blood pressure. Unfortunately, we're aware that it's quite common to be allergic to nuts, so let's look at one more tasty snack that could potentially be beneficial for the gut and the brain. Today, let's end on a sweet note with dark chocolate. Chocolate has been proven to contain beneficial antioxidant properties, which simply means that they help protect our cells from any potential invaders or radical change. It also includes caffeine, a chemical which strengthens concentration and stimulates the production of endorphins, which helps improve mood. Of course, the chocolate we're referring to here is 100% natural cocoa, which is why it's referred to as dark chocolate and not your typical Hershey's bar at the supermarket. What's the difference? Well, the Hershey's bar actually contains a lot more unhealthy sugars that can have a negative impact on your body if consumed in large amounts. Well, that's it for this video. Today, we learned about the gut-brain connection and how what we eat can affect our brain function and vice versa. We listed a few key landmarks of the gut-brain axis, such as the vagus nerve, and we also named a few beneficial foods you can eat in moderate amounts to help support your entire system, from brain to gut. For more information on this topic, you can visit our infographic, which is linked in the description, as well as more exciting videos posted on this channel about fun neuroscience. See you next time!